The US government just moved 10,000 Bitcoin worth $600 million to Coinbase. Are they trying to sell? Will the market crash? Let's find out. All right, so one of my followers on Twitter asked me to investigate this issue further, and it seems like there is disagreement between different folks. Uh, let's take a look. All right, so yesterday people had noted uh, a move from government wallets to Coinbase. And today, Fred Krueger pu puts out a tweet saying US is definitely selling Bitcoin. And Joe Carlosari comes back and says this is wrong and this is only for custody. So the government is just uh, moving their coins to Coinbase for safeguarding. Hodling BTC is asking my opinion on this. So I decided to dig deeper and instead of just sharing another opinion, look at the data and see what we have. All right. So let's take a look at the one of the first uh, platforms that investigated this issue. They, this is Arcom Intelligence. They this they showed that 10K Silk Road Bitcoin worth about 6 million moved to Coinbase Prime. And they uh, looked at they they found the address. So what I'll do is I'll go on Arcom Intelligence website. I'll investigate the addresses and trace them back and forth to see uh, what has happened to these funds. Okay, let's uh, move on to Arcom's platform. Okay, so now what I can do is I can take the address in question that had received those funds and uh, look it up. So you can see that this address has uh, received some funds from a previous address two days ago, and some of those funds are moved to Coinbase after that. Right now, this address holds no money. And the reason for that it is received the funds on the 15th of August and uh, moved all of it out to another address uh, the next day. All right, so what we can do is now trace the, this address. Uh, you can see this is the address we started from and where the money went after that is Coinbase. Now, this is going to take some time for the platform to add the labels. Uh, but this is Coinbase Hot Wallet, which sounds a lot like someone's trying to sell Bitcoin. Okay, now let's uh, trace back and see where the money came from first before investigating further. If you click on this left arrow, you get uh, the previous address that sent the 600 million to this, okay? And this address, we don't know what it is, but we can go one step back and there it is. We get the US government. You see that they had sent $669 million of worth of Bitcoin to this address because of uh, the changes in price of the market. Because of the changes in price, you see a smaller amount moving out and a slightly different amount moving out further to Coinbase Prime. So this is definitely coming from the US government. And if we go back, uh, we will find that uh, the source of these funds is actually uh, uh, the money that was seized from Silk Road. And specifically, if, if we go further back, we get to James Zhang's uh, money, which was uh, seized last year. So you can see James Zhang's money was seized and uh, moved to a few government addresses and then from there to Coinbase Prime. Now, importantly, uh, what happened here? Is it just a custody address or is it a regular co-mingled ad address which might indicate uh, sales? Now, let's see where the money, uh, essentially, uh, let's see, uh, let's take a look at the other players that might have deposited money here. So if we look at the inflows, you can see a lot of Coinbase Prime deposit, but we can also identify a specific, uh, uh, specifically labeled entities. Okay, if you if you scroll enough, you can find a bunch of labeled entities. This is a, this is cipher mining, and if you look up more, you can see a lot of uh, coin um, Coinbase Prime deposits here. And if you look uh, look further into where that money comes from to this account, you for example can trace it back to Grayscale Bitcoin ETF. So essentially, this is where a lot of money is coming from various clients and customers and getting commingled in this address. Now, let's see if we can find anything interesting about where the money goes after this. So from here, it goes to a, a lot of different places, a lot of different businesses, uh, goes to various Coinbase uh, addresses, goes to Genesis trading, GBTC withdrawals. So this sounds like this is the spot market. Um, businesses depositing 
and from their money going elsewhere to other businesses. All right, so so far sounds like US government moved uh, 10,000 Bitcoin to a few addresses and then swept them up, fully moving to Coinbase Prime. And that's an address where Bitcoin from many other businesses have also been deposited and they're mixed. And from there, they're going to various other businesses. Now, why is that important? I want to draw your attention to this tweet from Scott Johnson, a finance uh, lawyer. He's concluding based on uh, his analysis that the U.S. Marshall Service is almost certainly selling Silk Road Bitcoin. The reason he mentions is similar to what we discussed. Uh, USMC had an agreement to keep the funds segregated, to keep the funds they collected from various uh, uh, seizures segregated, meaning they silk, if they're storing it, the Silk Road Bitcoin should not be mixed with other kinds of coins that they might have uh, seized from other places or with any other businesses money. Okay, so if you look at this tweet, uh, given the agreement requires USMC assets to remain completely segregated whenever a transfer is ultimately made to a Coinbase Prime or other commingling exchange address, you can be sure that USMC has already sold or selling imminently. Essentially, because we see that the money uh, moves and gets mixed with other uh, money that's coming from other places, it's a strong indication that it's the money is moved there to be sold. Okay, here's a snippet from the Office of Inspector General guidelines for contractors that work with USMC. Uh, they stipulate that the contractor shall maintain a complete and accurate accounting of U.S. government's cryptocurrency inventory at all times. The contractor shall ensure that each government cryptocurrency asset is segregated by its wallet address. So addresses might be separate. The contractor shall ensure that the crypto wallet addresses provided to the government are not reused or provided to other agencies, institutions, and customers. So no other Bitcoin should be getting mixed with uh, this Bitcoin from other parts of the government, other institutions, other businesses. The contractor shall ensure that the government crypto inventory is never commingled with any other wallet or addresses belonging to different owners. And as we can see here, the money definitely got commingled. Uh, this six million dollars definitely got commingled with other entities. And this to me is a very strong indication that it is sold uh, already or is plan to be sold. All right, so now what should we do? Uh, first of all, we know that in the last few days, the market has been weak, especially after the news, either because of the news or because some of that money is already sold, the market is uh, very weak. So what should we do if they are planning to sell the rest? Should we sell some of our Bitcoin? Uh, my answer to that is you should do essentially nothing. Uh, as if you are a long-term holder, this doesn't impact you. And what we have seen in the past is over and over again, when news of somebody big selling appears, um, a lot of uh, short-term minded people sell and the market oversells. And a few days later, market comes back up and we just got rid of one of the other sell pressures that, were, that was hanging over the market's head. So, uh, you know, people who are in it for the long run do not react to news. Do not try to move their money because somebody else is selling. You have a long-term thesis and uh, you should not be making financial plans based on who else is selling or buying. People who do react to these kind of events are typically less sophisticated, uh, very short-term minded people. Uh, which are often wrong. So they typically panic sell. And after the initial panic tanks the price, uh, market gets, in, gets into an oversold state and comes back up very quickly. So if anything, this is a great buying opportunity. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video.